Welcome to U.S. Immigration TV. This is the third in a series on family, petitioning family for employment-based green cards. Uh, in the first video, I discussed how it is perfectly legal and acceptable. In the second video, I went through the basic requirements, what is needed in order for family to petition family for an employment-based green card. And the response has been overwhelming. I was, I was surprised by how much or how little people knew that this type of green card existed and how much they are interested in pursuing it. So in this video, I'm going to go through a couple of your questions as posted uh, on our website. And I do thank all of you for sharing your comments and expressing interest in it. Now, first, I want to be clear and put out all the disclaimers that attorneys cannot guarantee results. And by no means am I trying to say that just because you petition a family member, it will 100% be approved. No, uh, but certainly if the requirements are met and the job is real and the employer has the ability to pay, it could be approved. But I just want to be clear that attorneys cannot guarantee results. We can guarantee that we will try our best. Also, this type of petition or process is very complex and detailed. And therefore, I would highly recommend that you seek the advice and evaluation and representation by an attorney who can look over the facts and circumstances of the case and determine eligibility for this type of green card or other type of immigration benefits. Now, let's go through some of the questions posted by you, the viewers. Our first question comes from Joanne. I want to know how I can start the process of getting my siblings back home in the Philippines. I own a restaurant here in the U.S. and my husband owns a trucking company. I have four sisters that can work with me in my restaurant and two brothers that can work in our trucking business. I saw a lot of success stories on your page and I'm really interested in how I can bring my family here. Um, a lot of the requirements I went over in part two or the second video, but just briefly, yes, you can petition family members to work with you in your business. Now, some of the issues I might see in your case, if you are going to petition for sisters, you're gonna to have to demonstrate that your business is earning enough money to afford these four employees. So hypothetically, depending on what the job is, let's say, for example, the job calls for uh, $30,000 a year. That's, if you're gonna be petitioning for that's $120,000 a year. So you have to make sure that your business has at least $120,000 of net income, not gross income, net income. That's the ability to pay. If your business is not earning enough to afford the worker, the case can be denied. Uh, same thing with your husband and the trucking business. Um, as long as the company is earning enough to afford each and every sponsored worker, th then it could be acceptable. Of course, the job has to be advertised. I used to think that trucking was a uh, favored job among Americans, but now I'm watching in the news that, you know, especially what's happening out in uh, the port of LA, they cannot find enough truckers um, to handle the cargo being unloaded. So lo and behold, there's a shortage of truckers here. But in answer to your question, uh, yes, family can petition family. In your particular case, my concern would be, is your business and your husband's business earning enough? And as long as there is a need for these workers in your business, it could be possible. Our next question comes from Isla or Ayla. Hi, I do have an adult family home in Washington state and I have a niece in the Philippines. She's a physical therapist. Can I petition her? The answer is yes, as long as the requirements are met. Basically, uh, there is a real job. She's qualified for that job. I'm not quite sure that you would have a need for a physical therapist in your facility. Maybe she could be a caregiver if she's qualified. 
The employer has to have the ability to pay the wage, which means that the net income, not the gross income, but the net income on the tax returns equals at least what the alien's salary will be. That's to show the employer can afford the alien. A lot of people say, well, can I start a business and petition a family member? Yes, it's possible, but ordinarily, it's been my experience that when you start a business, the first couple of years, the business may not be generating enough net income. Typically, uh, it takes three or four years before a company is generating enough income to be able to afford or generate that type of net income. But yes, it is possible. Uh, Ayla or Isla, you can petition your niece in a real job if you have the ability to pay. Our next question comes from Christine and she asks, how can I apply for employment for my nephew as a housekeeper and a lawn keeper? Uh, basically, the requirements are that the alien has the experience, although there may not be that much experience required for a housekeeper or a gardener. Uh, the employer has to have the ability to pay the wage, meaning the net income on the tax returns will equal at least the alien's salary. Real job, of course. It does not need to be a college-level job. It does not need even to be a skilled type of job. Skilled meaning a type of job that takes at least two years training or experience. It can be an unskilled job, a type of job that takes less than uh, two years or even a year experience. It can even be no experience required. Uh, the employer first attempts to advertise the job and recruit U.S. workers. If no qualified U.S. worker applies for the job, then the job could be certified for the alien. Our next question comes from Mina Mia, and I hope I'm pronouncing your names correctly. If not, I apologize. And she asks, I just want to ask if I can petition my aunt, who's my mother's cousin, to take care of my newborn and my grandmother so I can work better with peace of mind. And that's an interesting point that petitioning relatives, as long as the requirements are met and the rules and the laws are followed, uh, having a relative in these type of job positions, you know, caregivers, nannies, or whatever, does bring peace of mind while you are out there and working full time, their home, looking after your loved ones. And the answer is yes, you can petition uh, either as a caregiver or a nanny. Uh, the process time takes about two and a half years. And although the priority dates are current on the visa bulletin, uh, the processing time, you know, the amount of time it is with the pre-filing recruitment effort, uh, filing with the Department of Labor, uh, processing overseas, getting the petitions approved, does take about two and a half years. I also want to be clear that in this age of the pandemic, these type of time frames uh, are kind of just basically estimates. It could be longer. You know, for example, we had the pandemic, the shutdowns, uh, the embassies working at limited capacities, fewer interviews. Uh, they also have set priorities in terms of clearing the backlog with employment-based cases uh, are now at the last or tier four level. Right now, the priority date is current. It could retrogress as it did with India and China. So I'm just giving you a basic estimate of the time frame, but it is certainly, for now, a lot faster than many of the family-based petitions, you know, such as brothers and sisters and married children of U.S. citizens. All right, our next question comes from Wang. Wang asks, can I petition my niece as a caregiver for my mother? The answer is yes, you can. Caregiving is a legitimate and acceptable job for a green card. There are types of visas, temporary working visas called H-1B. Those can only be college graduates working in college level job, but that's a temporary non-immigrant visa. This is a green card, not a work permit, a green card. And green cards are available not just for college, not just for skilled, but unskilled workers, for caregivers, uh, for housekeepers. In fact, I mentioned on my television show, Citizen Pinoy, we featured cases of a niece petitioning her aunt as a housekeeper, a, bro 
a brother being petitioned as an office manager in his sister's office, uh, a niece being petitioned at the aunt's facility. Uh, I also know with Wang there was a comment um, to her question about an H-2B visa being available. I just want to correct the person that no, H-2B would not be appropriate in this situation. H-2B is a seasonal non-immigrant type visa, you know, such as for uh, harvesting crops or working in hotels uh, during the summer season. We are not talking about a non-immigrant temporary visa. We are talking about a green card. The next question comes from Rachel. And the question is, how long will it take? It takes right now about two and a half years, but that is merely an estimate. Uh, it could be faster, but most likely it could be longer. Uh, even though the priority dates are current for many countries, uh, they could retrogress. In addition, the various processing times with the recruitment and dealing with the Department of Labor, filing the case and getting the petition approved with the USCIS, then getting the case sent to the NVC and being queued up for the interview at the embassy can take time. Uh, the government is still opening up. Uh, they have a tremendous backlog because remember there was like a year when the embassies were closed down. So they do have a tremendous amount of backlog. Employment-based cases are considered last on the list, but this is something that if you have a business or even at your home and you have the ability to pay and you have a need for a worker, a family can petition other family members for a green card, an employment-based green card. If you are interested, again, I would strongly encourage you to consult with an attorney who can evaluate your situation, determine eligibility, and help you with the process. Now, I hope you have found this video series informative, and maybe it's something that you can take advantage of. And if you know of anyone else who has a need for housekeeper, caregivers or whatever, and they have relatives back home who are qualified and they meet the requirements, make sure to share this video. And of course, like, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel to be kept informed on the latest immigration news, developments, hopefully someday an amnesty. So again, make sure like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching U.S. Immigration TV.